Hi guys, um, I'm really excited to show you this next bit. Uh, in the most recent release of Smart PLS, they included a new feature, which I actually requested. They were probably already going to make it, but I requested it and then they made it. So it makes me feel kind of special, I suppose. Um, but <laughs> I'm guessing they were probably already going to make this. But um, one problem we see in uh, covariance-based statistics packages like Amos, and in fact every statistic package uh, with, a, with a graphical user interface, um, like a drag and drop model interface, uh, is that you can't specify multiple unique mediation effects. For example, if I have a model like this where decision quality is predicted by comp use, but uh, that effect goes through multiple mediators, playfulness and usefulness, typical um, SEM packages will estimate the total and indirect effects but those indirect effects will be sort of uh, net indirect effects. It won't account for the path through playful by itself or the path through useful by itself. It'll account for both um, the playful and useful mediation in that indirect effect and will give you just sort of the net um, indirect effects. Well, what they've done with Smart PLS 3 the, with this newest release is they've made it so you can look at specifically the mediation through usefulness, the mediation through playfulness, the mediation through any uh, number of multiple mediators. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to calculate and I'm going to run the consistent PLS algorithm. Start calculation. And if we look at indirect effects down here, you see the first tab is total indirect effects. That would be all um, the effects from, in this case, comp use to decision quality going through all mediators. The effect is 0.234. But specific indirect effects, ah, now we can see which of those effects are actually, uh, wh where, the, where the bulk of the effect is going through. And it looks like the bulk of the effect from comp use to decision quality is going through usefulness, not through playfulness. Now, if we run a bootstrap on this, we can also see if it is significant. So, run bootstrap consistent and start. And here we go again, looking at specific indirect effects down here. And we can see that the indirect effect through playfulness is actually not significant whereas the one through decision or through usefulness is significant. This tells us a lot more than what we were seeing before with uh, total indirect effects. In fact, if we go back to this bootstrapping and look at total indirect effects, we'll see that the total indirect effect is significant. So we would assume, or we would uh, infer, that we have mediation, which is correct. But we would also be assuming or inferring that that mediation occurs through both playfulness and usefulness. And while technically that is correct, specifically is not correct. Specifically, that mediation is occurring only through, um, through usefulness. Right here, this p-value, significant. This non-significant p-value on this indirect effect indicates that the indirect effect through playfulness is no different from zero, or at least we can't have confidence that it is any different from zero. So this is really cool. You now have a way to uh, assess multiple specific indirect effects uh, to assess mediation in Smart PLS. Woohoo! Good job, guys.